particular way of creating your circular beams right and um, in the last few weeks we got feedbacks on one of our videos and i'm picking one of the comments that we had right and he says thanks bro for all you've been doing you have made design easy and sweet thank you very much um god bless you it says please sir can you treat circular beams and um that's exactly what i've come to give an answer to today right so i'd like that you pay attention as we go together to solve that right so um this is um, a layout a, a layout where we would want to include or want to add our circular beam into this so i'm using this as an example to show to you how to have your circular beam and of course we know that there are basic stuff that a circle would have primarily we know that a circle will have a diameter and definitely having a diameter we can actually factor out our radius um, from that right so let's assume that in the very mid part of this layout um, is where the radius of our circle is going to be that is to say that our circle will want to go around this place so and i want to show you that quickly right so normally you discover that these points have been discontinued and those are the points where we would rather have our circular beam pass through now for us to have a circular beam there is one more thing i like us to realize that a circle will be formed or a circular beam will be formed by um, different sections of curved beams are you with me so a circular beam will be formed from different sections of curved beam of uniform radius so if you get that it will have uniform radius a consistent radius all around to produce a perfect circle right so i'll show to you so this is orion software right and um, of course i would need to show that on product structure also right but for you to just follow through this video you'd be able to create a curved beam and also you have the knowledge of creating a circular beam now you want to just go to your beam and select your beam now we're using the width of 2 to 5 and the depth of 450 now on selecting the first point of insertion of your beam now you select the first point then you try to move so while you're moving you are holding down the shift button so you're holding down the shift button then you drop at the next point of support so while you drop at that next support you have a pop-up box like this don't forget the steps you select the first point of support where your beam should start then you hold down your shift button then you drop at the next support so you have this kind of box now this offset options is where you want to create offsets um, to the points of the, to the support or from the support you want your beam to be positioned at an offset distance from that support so you have i end and j end so for the curved beam insertion there are three um ways or three um selections that are available for us so you see that we go by the chord offset or we go by the center offset or we go by the radius whichever way whichever that you have the value would give you your circle if done appropriately now i want to use a radius probably because in the architecture i was able to come up with the radius or deduce the radius from there and the radius that i obtained four thousand millimeters which is four meters right now if you check this number of segments 
let me check let me take this now you see that there are segments one two three four five six so the circle the curve is actually into six segments but i've discovered that the more the segment the finer or the smooth uh, the smoother is it anything like that the finer the curve is right so i'll try to put 10 or many people might want to put something even more above probably 15 or so so if i put 15 there and i press ok i have a curved beam automatically there you see at, at that now i repeat the same procedure on this on the right side of my selection i select the first point holding down the shift key then i drop at the next support i have the pop-up box again so i can insert my radius then also the number of segments then after i have that then we press ok but if i press ok you should be um did you see now i almost say that now you should also consider the direction with which your beam is being inserted of course we want to create um, a circular um beam and not this kind of beam so you want to change this radius to a negative value so once you change negative value it automatically change the direction so it means that orion would actually work with positive and the negative direction so with this we can press ok but then this is it's supposed to be 15 segments not 10 so whichever way when you're doing yours you can make it 15 and consistent so because of consistency would want to go back and do that I select the first point, put it on my shift key, I drop there, my radius 4,000 meters, 4,000 millimeters rather, number of segments 15, then I press OK, so I have, I have it now. I repeat the same procedure on the other side and on like that. I select the first point, hold it down, shift key, then dropping it on the next support using my radius with the same four meters and 15 number of segments to have a fine to have a fine um, call. So I have this also. And then um, to the last one now. I can select the first point holding down the shift key so I have now radius so this will be four meters now and then um, the number of segments 15 then we press ok now even though we formed these circular beams with number of um, curved sections in the design is going to take all these as a singular unit all right it's going to take it as a singular unit in the design so you discover that by the time you insert your your slab let's say this is 150 and the cover of 20 then probably your your load rooms and um so 1.5 so you discover that you can it will take the shape and the yield line around that circular part as taking another form you see the yield line around that place has taken another form respecting what's there so that's basically how to have a circular beam using orion Right, so in the next video, I'll be showing you how to obtain this circular beam using product structure also. Right, so thank you for staying around. We'll see you in the next tutorial.
please do well to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you